All right, so in this step, we're going to start bringing in some uh, of our uh, objects. So I'm going to go to the Mega Scans folder, and I've already uploaded these. If ever, for some reason, something's missing, it's very easy. You just go back and get it. Uh, one of the things that I also think you should enforce and encourage is that students use their organizer. Because one of the problems with Mega Scans, if they brought in too many assets, it could fill up the computer quickly. So I'm going to just show you one workflow that I use. So my level is rather big. So what I like to do is drag it in next to the, the, the third person player. So I see, oh, wow, geez, that's small. And I wasn't expecting that. So do, using the WER keys, uh, I'm going to make this a lot bigger. And now this is kind of a feature piece. I'm probably going to have just one of these in the scene. And maybe at some point off in the distance, and I'll use the move tool and just drag it off. And, you know, like press F2 if you want to see. Okay, there it is. And then go back to my third person character, press F. Uh, I'm going to bring in something else. So I'm going to only put one of those. I'm going to now put in um, maybe some castle stairs. Let's see what those look like. Oh, really small. Again, so press the R key. Uh, and I'm going to enlarge those just maybe uh, rotate them and I'm going to use the W key and just put them in that landscape over here. Press F and place it properly so it looks good. You know, you want, um, something I had not talked about yet is this is a. Uh, my position snap value. So right now it's extremely high. So look what, what happens when I move it. It snaps a lot. So I'm going to change that to one so that when I'm placing something, I can have a lot more finesse there. And uh, so, you know, to play around with this, and I, I want it to look like it's kind of already in the rock or something. And over here, uh, this is for angle. When I, uh, its default is 10. So it moves by 10 degrees. And this here is the scale, which is, uh, uh, whoops, which is uh, this tool. Okay, so um, leave this one is probably the best. I'm going to go back to my third person character, press F. And like your students will spend a lot more time placing stuff than, than I'm going to bring in. I brought in the mining cart as some structures. Again, so small. Maybe you're happy with that size, you know, those decisions for you to make, but I want the card to kind of stand out a little bit more. And I'm going to move this back to like 50 so I can move it quickly. Press W and just drag it all the way out somewhere. And now I'm going to start dropping some of the rocks in and I'm going to do this. And so these are kind of also quite small and could be very big. Uh, you could, uh, I'll just go like this and place. Now, I'll show you a little trick since I want more than one of these. Uh, and I'll make sure, maybe bring that down to five. Like that. I want it in the ground. So I press F. It looks like it's part of the ground. And I'm going to use Alt click to make another iteration. So instead of dragging a second one in, uh, it still duplicates it, but that that is a much quicker way because once you have it the right size and you're happy, and let's say you want several of those rocks. Now, one thing that you may want to do is I'm going to just make another copy here. Uh, you may want to change the proportions here using the R key and make this one look a little bit bigger, a little, little bit longer so that it doesn't look repetitive So when you're building your environment. So I'm going to stop there for that. And I'll get maybe one more asset. You know, I put this Japanese floor that I thought looked really cool. Uh, and maybe it's just near the stairs or it's just randomly there. You know, you're trying to make the environment interesting so that your character, when they're wandering around, they like to explore and find out more. And maybe there's a reason. Maybe all these structures should be close together. I put uh, that archway all the way over there. But maybe I should keep them all close together. So what you're really doing at this stage is looking at your organizer, getting the things that you said you would, uh, assessing if you have enough. You could add an extra couple. 
uh, just be careful and make sure students are aware to not bring in like you know dozens of extra things because it takes place it, it stays on the computer if you don't delete the quixel assets after uh, so you can do that and again remember this it, this alt and the move tool and you can just you know quickly change these and make them different and make them you know uh, really cool uh, rapid uh, development uh, of your level okay and maybe last but not least oh, I thought I had another really large rock somewhere there it is so I'm gonna drag this one's really big so that's good and I will rotate that one and maybe I, I want to zoom right to it Press the belly go down and the re it's simple why are the these are so much nicer and add so much kind of detail if you if there's a, a part in your level you really want to bring attention to these quixel assets are really a great tool to do that okay so keep decorating your level in the next uh, level we're going to start adding uh, vegetation and, and so on all right thanks